what's up guys and welcome back to planners and wine my name is myra and i am megan welcome back guys yay welcome back to another week and um uh yeah we're kind of forever we're kind of forever and also <laughs> this is my favorite episode of the month this is our live episode that we do with our amazing patreon crew we have our patrons in the building who will be chatting live as we go through that this episode we'll be reading out loud some of their responses and this is a great time to join the patreon and we will give you more details about that later on but thanks so much for joining us guys yes and i completely forgot because we we do chat before we start the show so we it do. was like i was already here my bad y'all so shout out to y'all <laughs> we do have a good time Thank to you the did. point that it's like they're supposed to be in a room like mm-hmm. there's you know but yeah yep, yep exactly Fun exactly times. but as myra already mentioned you know wakanda forever we both have seen the new black panther wakanda forever to um movie mm-hmm. we're going to talk about our reactions we're not going to say any spoilers whatsoever so you do not need to turn this off you do not need to skip this we're not going to spoil the movie in any capacity yeah. we're just going to talk about our reactions and our feelings about the movie that's it okay and if you've seen it guys please don't spoil it in the comments let's keep it spoiler free for the people because yeah it's such a special movie i don't want to ruin it for anybody anybody i know it's yeah it's very special something we waited on it means a lot to our community even if you aren't into like the superhero stuff it just means a lot Yes. to the black community just period but uh yeah no spoilers and um i mean i, I guess our plan was to like quote-unquote spoil it but we got the patreons in the room it literally has been out for a day day and mm-hmm. a half you want to count thursday so mm-hmm. we gonna do y'all like that but maybe, maybe maybe next, next maybe the next yeah. episode in december we might then y'all like, have two weeks then y'all have a couple it, weeks yeah <laughs> We ain't got nothing for you at that point. Just skip that episode. <laughs> right, right, exactly. But oh my gosh, like my let's let's first talk about before we saw it. My anticipation all day yesterday was absolutely through the roof. Like I was so scared I was going to get on social media, like TikTok or something, and it was going to be spoiled for me. I was nervous. I was excited. I didn't know what to expect. And I just really, I had high expectations and I was really hoping that this was going to be an amazing movie because I knew so many people were going to be disappointed and saying crazy stuff if it wasn't, you know, a great movie or whatever. But it really, it exceeded every one of my expectations. And it's definitely one of my all-time favorite Marvel movies, if not my favorite Marvel movie ever. I absolutely loved it from beginning to end. It was emotional. It was action-packed. It was full of Black girl magic, Black and brown people magic. It was just, I mean, from beginning to end. I didn't want it to end. It's a a two-and-a-half-hour movie. I did not want it to end. I could have stayed there for another 30 minutes to an hour. Truly, 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 I could have. What are your thoughts initially, Myra? Um, totally agree. I feel like they definitely did chat with justice. Um, this isn't really, is this a spoiler? Like the beginning, you know how the Marvel thing comes in and begin of every movie? No, I don't think so. Okay. Instead of, if y'all are familiar with Marvels, instead of, um, when a Marvel movie comes in, you get clips of like every single superhero. So you see Iron Man, you see the Hulk, you see all of that. But for this one, it was just all clips of Chadwick and mm. immediately cried. Immediately. Movie ain't even started yet. Mm-hmm. Boo hoo cried. And it was silent. It was silent. Usually you get like the, you know, boom, pow, you know, sound effects. Yeah. But it was silent. And the whole theater was silent. And it was just like, oh, mm-hmm. uh, like right there was just just as enough. But throughout the movie, they really did everything just chef's kiss perfect to just honor like you come into it knowing like you're gonna have this morning moment of chat with but mm-hmm. like it was just perfection it was per- perfection <laughs> perfection and shout out to danny he said he will abuse his power as a mod and kick you out if you ruin it for him <laughs> yeah i approve that message i do that's too. fine <laughs> I do too. Oh my gosh. Uh, Laura said, I know I will cry hard. I knew Chad would get an earlier point in his journey. You talk about somebody who lived for his craft. He was the poster child. That's Mm -hmm. the thing. And I, you know, obviously there was a lot like after Chadwick's, um, after Chadwick passed away, there was a lot of talk about 
should they recast the child or should they not and all this stuff and when they made the decision not to recast his character of T'Challa there was a lot of people who didn't like that who didn't agree with that who felt it should be recast and I mean I get those feelings but honestly like this was really truly to me at least this was bigger than a Marvel movie this was bigger than just the character of Black Panther like Chadwick Boseman was just such a important person to us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was so important to us. And like seeing him as Black Panther and seeing him in the first uh, Black Panther film and seeing Wakanda for the first time, like it just meant so much to me, like more than I even expected it to. And like, this is why representation matters because everybody deserves to be able to see themselves. Like we don't always like as black and brown people, we always are forced to see ourselves in movies and stuff into some type of struggle, you know, uh, torture porn, unfortunate circumstance, you know what I'm saying? Slavery movies and things like that. So to be able to see ourselves in such a position of power and have it be a big, huge budget film. I mean, hundreds of millions of dollars are spent on these Marvel films. Like mm-hmm. that just meant so much to me. And I know it meant so much to just us as a, as a black community. Um, you couldn't just replace him. You couldn't just replace that. It was just, you just couldn't do it. And I hope that whoever felt that way initially, once they see this movie, I hope they feel differently. I truly, I hope, I hope all that's put to rest. I hope they feel differently. I hope they realize that Chadwick Boseman, the human being, truly deserved to be able to have, you know, his chapter as Black Panther end in this way and not just simply be recast. And that just would have been just so, to me, it would have just been so distasteful and just so unfair mm-hmm. to him as a human. And at the end of the day, these are actors, these are famous people, these are rich people, but they're people at the same time. And he meant a lot. And the way he the way he died was just so sad and so unfortunate. Like, I don't know, that was definitely one of the celebrity deaths that impacted me the most. And it just would have been, it would have felt, it would, I would have felt cheated if I would have had to watch somebody else be him in this film. Yeah. You know? And I, I think a I'm lot of people don't think right about now. um for sure. Yeah. I think a lot of people don't see it as like you know, the rest of the cast, like, this was their friend, their co-worker. This is somebody mm-hmm. that they work with, and um, it's not like we have 47 Black Panther films with him in it. Like, we yeah. had one. And, of course, he appeared in other Marvel movies, but um, I think I said this before, like, even, like, I, spoiler alert if you didn't watch Endgame, I guess, but with Cap growing old and mm-hmm. um, uh, Stark dying, like, that was hard but we got to see captain stark in so many movies and right. you know robert downing and um chris evans i was gonna say steve rogers girl oh yeah like that. <laughs> 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 that's cap real name y'all don't know but yeah. yeah um chris evans is still here so we still get to enjoy their work too but like with this and like you said to be honest like this is our first like black superhero film yeah. like it me it meant more than the first captain america the first iron man you yes. know like you know what yeah. i mean so i i just like you said i hope when people see this who were like oh we should just recast them like understands and mm-hmm. get the magnitude um i think people are seeing that like oh it's just a job but like this it means a lot and then yep. the, the people that he worked with it meant a lot to them you can you know tell like even with the promo even with the acting like it just yeah. It truly meant a lot. And mm-hmm. on the flip side, if he was recasted, whoever it was would never be good enough. I was just about to say, Danny said in the chat, who would want that responsibility? Could you imagine you have to replace and do better than the Black Panther? Yeah. Exactly. It would never be good enough. It would never so, be good enough. From the same people talking about recast, y'all would still find something wrong. They would. Because it would never be good enough. And that's not fair to that actor. Nope. So I no. think what they the way they went about it was fair. It was right. Yeah. Um. It was it was perfect. It was justified. And mm-hmm. I'm I'm looking forward to how we you know move forward with the yeah Black Panther franchise now. But I so it's so good. I am too. Perfect and on justice. a on a less emotional note, like visually, the movie is stunning. 
it it it's beautiful looks yeah. so beautiful it sounds so beautiful like it is just i mean i think i was just sitting there in awe the whole time and um i believe you said earlier but christy also said in the chat like it was silence at the beginning of the movie and at least mm -hmm. in my theater it was silence at the end and it was packed yeah but it was just like it was truly like an emotional roller coaster like um, this isn't really a spoiler, but basically we saw a lot of the movie through his sister Shuri's eyes mm -hmm. and like all the emotions that she was going through with losing her brother and stuff. It literally felt like we were going through all that with her. The eye, mm -hmm. the highs, the lows, the anger, like all, all of that. It felt like we were she going went through, through all the stages well. of grief for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think it was, I think it was brilliant. I think it was perfect. I absolutely loved it. Like I said, it is, if not my all time favorite Marvel movie is definitely one of my all time favorites. Like I just, I felt like I don't, I kind of felt, I felt like I did the whole time. Like y'all remember how you felt at the end of Infinity War when the snap happened and if you know we just saw Thanos at the end and then just went off and then at the beginning of uh Endgame it was just it was just somber but Some, it didn't somber, feel yeah. super it, like it felt super sad but not like so sad that you didn't want to have to deal with it it just felt like another part of like the grieving process and I like I said I just I hope his family is so happy and is so proud of how they did this because I don't I can't think of a better way for them to honor him but also, you know, helping the series move on and move on to its next phase as well. I just think it was, they just, they just walked that line perfectly. And it was, yeah. And, and yeah, it was a hard, hard thing to do. Like, yeah. this is a very, a very hard task to not like move on and, but also give chat with his flowers. And yeah. I, you know, like you said, they walked that line very perfectly, which I, I think is a very, very hard to do. It's so easy to, yeah you know, mess it up, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, and yeah. they, they didn't, so. Yep, yep, exactly. It was, uh, it was so good. I want to see it again. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I'm literally it's so excited for it to be on streaming and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, like, real quick, I mean, like I, I mentioned earlier, but the Black Girl Magic, and not only this film, but just in Wakanda as a whole, uh, it just feels so good. It feels so good. Like, I just, I mean, it, I just never felt like this before. I've never felt like this before. And I just feel like the way they did it just opened this this series up to just be so, have so much, not only like black empowerment, but like female empowerment, black women empowerment mm -hmm. as well. Um, yeah, there is a scene where there are three black women and they are like the key to all the action and everything that's going on in the scene. And my God, I was at the, I was at the edge of my seat. <laughs> I was at the edge of my seat. I was so excited. I was having so much fun. It was so good. Like I'm sure whoever was yeah. sitting next to me was so annoyed because I was like, damn, oh my God. <laughs> I was one of those a little <laughs> bit, just a little bit. Because I was having so much fun. I was having so much fun. It was great. The action was great. I think they added a little bit of comedy in there. That was great. Yes, um, they did. They did. Riri was great. Yes. I don't think that's a spoiler. That, that's been known that she yeah. would be in this film. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Um and also there was some queer representation in this movie as well, mm -hmm. which is huge because one, we don't get queer representation. We mm -hmm. Two, we definitely do not get black queer representation. Mm -hmm. So that was, I was here for that. Yes. Um, and I like the way Disney is, or Marvel Studios is doing it because there was like queer representation in um, uh, the internals. Oh yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but they make it, to where it's not like, hey, yeah. gay. It's like, yeah. okay, just like it will be a straight couple. It's, yep. it's a gay couple here. Yep. And I, I love that. Exactly. I love that. Exactly. I totally agree. I yeah. totally agree. And also, a uh, hot take. I didn't realize that Ryan Coogler was as fine as he is. Obviously, he uh, wasn't yeah. in the movie. He's a director he and the him. writer. But I like, see him on TikTok and stuff. Ryan Coogler is fine as hell. He kind of short, though. I don't care. <laughs> he I don't cute. care. He's fine. He is cute. He's fine. And I'm still and he's mad brilliant. at that bank trying to play my man's like that and call the police on him. I'm did still that mad. Happen? That did happen, that did happen. A couple years ago. Mm -hmm. Yikes. That Come did on. happen. Get, get, get it together. Get I'm not together, over it. People. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But yes, he did an amazing job. Thank you. <sighs> yes. 
for everything that you did with this movie, all the actors. I love the um the uh like Aztec kind of history blended into this too. The brown representation as yeah, well so in good. this movie. So good. So good. Uh it was it was everything. Like I mean, y'all know. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait till we can talk more about it. Okay. Two weeks. Y'all got two weeks. <laughs> I got two weeks. Ah, I'm so ready. Good. I'm so ready. Good. Yes. Go it see was, it. It was amazing. Go see it. Uh if 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 for whatever reason you got bad taste and you don't enjoy it, we don't need to know. <laughs> because that's the only yeah. <laughs> I, I don't only. know what it is with people who like wants to rain on other folks parade. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for you, it wasn't for you. Everything ain't gonna be for you. But mm -hmm. let's not like be a jerk about it and slide in people DMs. Right. When you know that they love it and they stand mm -hmm. and you know, it just is what it is. Like I'm not I'm honestly just not here for the super for the super smart um you know film um deep dives about it. It's fine. I love it. I loved it for what it was and I don't I don't care. <laughs> I yeah. It. it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I, I think they tied it in with the rest of the universe perfectly, I too. I think so, as well. So, yep. Oh, so excited. Excuse me, chills. I can't wait to see it again. Um. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, guys, let's get into some Black Friday sales, because we do got a, some information on how some shops are doing their sales, what their discounts will be, things like that. But what I want to say first before we get into it. I'm not a huge fan of all these, a lot of these Black Friday sales starting so early. Like, obviously, no shade. People got to run their business however they want to run their business. That's on them. I'm not saying I'm not going to shop them. I already have shopped one of them. But two weeks before Black Friday is just insanely early. And I really, I don't want this. Because, you know, there was a thing, like, before COVID and everything, it seemed like a lot of these big box stores, like Target, Walmart, Best Buy, all of them have started moving their Black Friday sales up earlier and earlier and earlier into Thanksgiving and into the Wednesday before. Um, and, you know, I think there kind of was like a lot of backlash from that as well, because a lot of people were like, okay, your employees aren't able to spend time with their family. This is putting pressure on us shopping because instead of just being able to do that on Friday, now we're having to do it on Thursday. So it seems like mm -hmm. a lot of big box stores have kind of pulled back from that, which I think is great. Um, but yeah, somehow a lot of planner community store shops got this bug that, hey, let me start my sale one week before Black Friday, two weeks before Black Friday. And I don't know, it kind of, for me, it's kind of taking the fun out of Black Friday. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's exciting to me to wait until like Thursday night or Friday to do a lot of shopping. Like having like a couple weeks to do it just makes it not as fun for me. Um, I would say for me, there wasn't enough. Like Black Friday is Black Friday every year, right? So we can prepare for it and know kind of what we're getting into. But I don't I feel like we got maybe one or two days and folks were like, We're having our Black Friday, and we're like, Yeah whoa sure. like there's no way for us to prepare for it like yeah you know so i think that's that was my issue it was kind of overwhelming because there was no like rewarding mm -hmm. or um too much anticipation other than like two days before and it's like yeah. okay i gotta hurry up and scramble with rather when it's black friday everybody knows yeah there's going to be some sales the day after thanksgiving we yeah have, it's just like christmas that comes around every year so we can better prepare for it and mm -hmm. know that shops are going to do that. Um, I don't know if shops are trying to get ahead so they can get the stuff out. I was about to say, but, that's what Rizzo said in the chat, which, I mean, that makes sense to me, but I don't necessarily think that's the whole reason behind it. It might be some people's reason. It might have some part to do with some people's reasoning, but I don't know. I just honestly, I don't think that that's the 100% reason behind most of this. People were trying to get ahead of the Black Friday rush so you can spend so. with them. I think that's mm -hmm. more so what it is to me. But everybody and I get that too. Idea. Yeah, I, I get that too. <laughs> just But just because yeah. I get it don't mean I, I like it. I can understand it without liking it. And that's kind of where yeah. I'm at. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, totally. whatever the reasoning is, I'm not a I'm not a shop owner, so it's gonna be over my head. But as a consumer, I don't love it that much. Cause like I said, it kind of has taken a little bit of the fun out of Black Friday for me. Like, I love the rush. I love having to you know be online at a certain time if I want to get this 
you know, doorbuster or daily deal or whatever. Like that type of stuff is fun to me. Just like with like yeah. the, you know, Audi Advent boxes, the hysteria is the funnest part of that for me. And it's the same thing with Black Friday, especially when it comes to shit, sticker shops, because we're not physically out at stores. We're just online. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Plus, not to mention, like, I'm off for the most part, or I'll be, because mm -hmm. well, I'm, I work at Bake now. I don't have Black Friday off, but I'll be working from home. Yeah. So I have the ability to stay yep. up at those midnight things. Like, yep. I I mean, it lucked up that it was on Veterans Day and I did have that off. So I mm -hmm. was technically off. But for most people, y'all don't get Veterans Day off. Like, right. And these are the people who are shopping at these shops. Like, we're nine to five people. Yep. Um, so, I, like, if y'all going to do it early, like more notice can it be more notice like, yeah, yeah. or even get, like a week or two build up so we can prepare or i agree i agree yeah. danny said pretty soon it's gonna be black november and november 1st the sale starts. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> right yeah uh heather kind of said what you said she said she doesn't mind the 11 11 color friday sale she just wish she had more foreknowledge um mm -hmm. then i don't have to stress about it for the thanksgiving weekend i get that i just i know some type of stress i don't like this type of stress shopping stress I don't mind that type of stress. That's like, you know, that's low maintenance stress. It's not actual life stress to me, at least. Yeah. So I think I'm in the same boat with Heather. I like, I really don't mind what day is on. Mm -hmm. I just need more than two days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, right. This is a planner community. You know, we it's, need notice. We need notice. <laughs> we need to plan, period. Uh, Laura said there have been a couple shops who always did that. And I think some other shops caught on. Bess always did that with her Lights Planner Action Go Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think Bess did it. Um, Simply Gilded usually does it before Black Friday, too. But yeah, it just seemed like everybody was like, okay, let me hop on this. But mm -hmm. now it's not, it's not super special if y'all all do it. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Danielle says she was shocked by how many sales were this weekend and she has been too overwhelmed to start. I feel that as well. Um, Jamelia said it's perfect because you can have gifts wrapped under the tree. Girl, but that's assuming that we buying stuff for other people. This is all for, uh, for Not me. when it comes to the planner stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. This, <laughs> this is all for me. <laughs> Maybe for my planner friends, but usually like most of my planner people I, it's hard to shop for them because they get whatever they want, like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when they want it. So, you know. Yep, yeah, exactly. Most of exactly. the stuff is for me. For sure. Agreed, agreed. Uh, Heaven also says she thinks that KD was to make sure she can deliver by Christmas, or she said that's a major reason. I get that. Like I said, mm -hmm. I get it. That yeah. totally makes sense. I definitely want to have my stuff by Christmas. Um, but I still, it's just not my face. Uh, Rizzo says she wouldn't mind if the planner community collectively decided this is the day, kind of like those big collective sales, mm -hmm. like PPC. The day is Black Friday, though, girl. <laughs> like the day is given to us but i get what you're saying i get yeah you're... i get i get what, what she's in too but but yeah the day is black friday but i mm -hmm. i don't know i i think it's more so a and it's a mixture of both they want to get it to you before christmas mm -hmm. on top of we're trying to beat the black friday rush uh -huh. but y'all all beat the both. black friday rush so it's nobody's beating the black friday nobody's rush, beating, yeah, yeah. Yep, exactly <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Jamila. Chaotic good. Chaotic good. <laughs> I love <laughs> some chaotic good. Agreed, agreed. But yeah, like I said, it's not it's not like a big deal or anything. And I totally understand it. Um, and I'm glad that just for you know, for every one shop that's doing this early, it's five that's not and then yeah. are waiting to the week of Thanksgiving. So it's definitely not like a big issue. Now, if we come around next year and it's even more shops doing it a week, two weeks early. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm a little, but yeah, one or two shops doing it is is fine. A couple shops doing it is no big deal, but yeah, as long as everybody doesn't hop on board, it definitely just will take the. It kind of loses the point if everybody does it, you know. It might have the reverse effect mm -hmm. for the people who wait until Black Friday. They might luck up and get a little yeah. bit more business because yeah, everybody was overwhelmed. Everybody was overwhelmed. I think if folks are going to do this, like we know, like. Like Spinner Action does it. Um, I know Simply Gilded. I'm sure Shops that does it early. But if y'all are going to try to do it early to beat the rush, like just a little bit more. I Even a week for yeah. me is good enough notice. But two days was just like, like hold up. Mm -hmm. And if you missed it and didn't see it those two days before, like yeah. you're like, what's going on? But 
Yeah. But yeah. And a lot of people say like so I at least I appreciate the sales that at least are maybe starting now, but they don't end until like after Black Friday. Some sales are starting now and ending even before Black Friday. So they're not gonna mm-hmm. even have any like technically Black Friday sales. And it's just like okay. <laughs> I guess mm-hmm. like I don't know. Don't 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 take my fun out of Black Friday, guys. You know, we're we're married moms. We don't have a lot of opportunities for excitement. <laughs> okay. And so taking Black Friday from me is taking one of the few opportunities for excitement and chaos that I have in my life. It's not good. It's not good, people. It's not good for my mental. <laughs> So quick question for you Mm -hmm. and I guess everybody in the chat too, like with these sales, are y'all buying like Christmas specific things or are y'all getting stuff for the new year? Like what are y'all typically buying during these sales? Uh, I mean, so for me, it's just kind of shop dependent. Like the only place I've shopped so far is uh, Chrissy Ann Designs. I didn't get anything Christmassy. Um, mm-hmm. I don't think it's just a bit of stuff that I had my eye on uh, for a while, um, but I haven't shopped anywhere else so far. So I don't know. I guess like it's like with um, like with Planner Kate, whenever her sale starts, um, it just depends. I already have a lot of her Christmas stuff. Um, if there's more Christmas stuff, I might just get it to use it next year or something like that. So I wouldn't get anything right now that I plan on using next month because I already have a ton of stuff for next month and I just don't see most of it even coming in time to be able to use for next Mm -hmm. month. So I don't know. Yeah. I I was thinking that like, are people buying Christmas stuff? Cause I Mm. I feel like with a lot of the releases, I've seen a lot of Christmassy things, Mm -hmm. but typically with black Friday, I'm usually buying things for the following year not like the holidays, but unless it's like simply gilded. Cause I know I'm going to get it way, but probably way before December. Yeah, since it's, since it came, the sale was yesterday, so right. I definitely would get it before December. But, but yeah, I guess like you said, it just depends. Um, yeah, but yeah. So yeah, we can go ahead and get into a few of the details that we have so far. And if I miss any shops, and y'all know some Black Friday deals that they have, definitely let us know in the chat, and we will go ahead and mention those as well. So EC, they are starting their Black Friday sale only for insiders um, on eleven fourteen to eleven seventeen. So that is next Monday until I think the day that this episode comes out, which is on the seventeenth. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So but you still can shop. You can still shop today. Still shop, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that'll be thirty percent off everything, sixty percent off select items, um a gift with purchase over thirty five dollars. And then they'll also have lightning deals um every day. Uh their early access Black Friday starts on the twenty first, goes to the twenty fourth, and then their general access black friday starts on the 25th to the 27th and then they're doing cyber monday as well all of that is 30 percent, but they also have like i said lightning deals um every single uh day as well so definitely a great time to purchase a 2023 life planner mm-hmm. from ec um you if you have a 20 percent off code you might even be able to stack that with this sale are you 100 percent certain on that or like 99 percent certain on that I'm going to say 99 because yeah, watch they flip it on me. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're like 99% sure you can stack your 20% coupon. But if you can't, it's fine. We'll probably be trying to shop too. And Yeah, yeah I, I definitely will. I'm thinking a monthly. Mm-hmm. EC next year, please do the A5 monthly, please. Girl, I want an A5 <laughs> monthly from EC so bad. So bad. It's like not even funny. And I'm thinking about buying another, um, well, not another. This will be the first one I bought because the one before they sent me, mm-hmm. um, the vertical compact. Because I did like it when I was using it. And I feel like I can't be a daily duo girl for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. Although she got me in a chokehold. She does have you in a chokehold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I might get that. Um, I, I just wasn't feeling the florals. Florals was a bit too much because I wanted yeah. to like sticker it up. So. Maybe I get a neutral or whatever. Harmony, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Neutral. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. But that's um, the plan. Also, uh, Simply Gilded, their Black Friday sale started um, on Friday, November the 11th. It is 30% off site wide and it's 50% off stickers. You do not need a discount code. Um, you cannot stack coupons with them. You cannot stack coupons with Simply Gilded. <laughs> Found out the hard way. <laughs> Good to know. I'm not sure. I want to say 
I'm trying to find because I didn't get the image to where like when it ends. But let me see. I'm just sure Black Friday. I'm pretty ends. sure it's. Oh yeah, it's eleven eleven to eleven thirteen. This Gold Friday sale. So by the time y'all hear this, the sale is gonna be over. And honestly, yeah. I have no idea if she's doing like an additional actual Black Friday sale or if this is it. It sounds like this might be it. So you know, shout out to the Patreon, y'all know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got some time. This is not helpful at all <laughs> to anybody listening to this. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I hope y'all got it. Um, yeah. I did. I finally uh, cave and bought some things that I have been skipping for the past, like, I don't know, five or six months I haven't bought from now. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I cave. I couldn't pass it up. That price was too good. No, yeah. Absolutely not. Uh, also, the Christy Ann Designs Pink Friday sale started on Friday, November the 11th as well at 10 a.m. Um, you can earn $5 for every $20 spent with no limit. There is also 20% off stickers. You just got to use the code Pink Friday 22 All the $2 Tuesdays is, are back and they are $2. I When I did my order, I do not think that 20% off went also towards that $2 Tuesday deal. Okay. Um, it just applied to everything else in my car. Um, they do have exclusive samplers um, for every day and door busters. Um, yeah, and I'm not sure how long this is lasting. Danny, if you're still in the chat, can you let us know um, how long Chrissy and Design Sale lasts? If it lasts now to a certain date or if it's going to last through Black Friday, please check in and let us know. But yes, I did do some shopping because our stickers are back. So I was going to ask that. Yes. If you mm-hmm. want our stickers, if you either didn't get a chance to buy them when they were released in October, or if you uh, want more, you want to stock up, they will be available on the Chrissy Ann Designs website until the end of the year. And now you can get them 20% off. So this is a great time to shop. So excited. Yeah. I definitely bought more of our stickers. <laughs> <laughs> and Danny's going to check on the dates. So perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I am going to stock up on some more of our stickers as well, just mm-hmm. to have them. Yes. You know? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And guys, like I said, y'all have been doing a great job letting us know when you buy them, when you get them in. If you buy our stickers, make sure you uh, tag us and put it on your stories mm-hmm. when you get them in. We would love to see. And we appreciate your support so much. The stickers are just so cute. I mean, shout out to Kristen. We are, I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed and I'm so glad they are back until, like I said, at the end of the year. So, yeah, okay. So, Danny just confirmed that uh, KD's Pink Friday sale runs through Monday the 14th at midnight, which, like I said, if you're listening to this, this is not helpful for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. But there you go, Patreon people yep. who come for the, the news. This is another reason why you should join. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, Lights Planner Action, Go Friday, save up to 40% all weekend, um, up to free, up to four free dashboards with every physical purchase. Save 20% on printed with cold golden, save 40% on printables with cold girls. Oh, golden girls, yes. Um <laughs> She said all weekend, so I'm assuming this is just this weekend, and it started on the November 11th. So once again, if, yeah, I mean, are y'all weekend, understanding sorry. my like? This is why I'm kind of frustrated. Like, not only are the sales starting so early, but they're ending before even the week of Thanksgiving. Like, I, I mean, uh, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. It Sorry, is y'all. What it is. <laughs> but I am going to be getting some from a uh, Lights Planner Ashen because I, I this mm-hmm. includes well, like you said, it doesn't matter to people listening in the future, mm-hmm. but it does include the blackout <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I think she posted the blackout stuff again. Yep, awesome. it is here, which I love. If y'all haven't had any blackout stuff from her, get it. Yes, buy it. Yeah, immediately. Awesome. Also, uh, let's see, the Martinez Sticker Company.com. They are having a 30% off um their shop. Um, I'm assuming she did not give me the dates, but I'm assuming this is actually on Black Friday or Black Friday weekend. Definitely check out Amy.plans um to get more details about her shop. And shout out to her. We love small sticker shops and who has to do their sales on Black Friday. So <laughs> shout out. <laughs> I mean, I love all y'all, but I'm this just saying, this is, I'm triggered by this, <laughs> right. 
Uh, let's see, let's see. Also, another shop I wanted to mention is uh Karina loves shop Karina loves the plan dot com. Um, she has new releases coming out. She just had new releases coming out uh yesterday, Friday, November eleventh. It will be fifteen percent off until Monday with code November fifteen. Then she is having an additional Black Friday sale um on actual Black Friday, twenty five percent off all custom names and words starting on November the twenty fifth. So definitely check out shop Karina loves to plan. Dot com. Yes. Yes. Um, let's see. Okay. Notique is having a sale. I'm assuming it must have started now, but I don't see the dates on here. Um yeah, it started so, now. I just was looking at them. Okay. If you can find like this when it ends, let us know because it might be it long. is Monday. Okay. Um twenty <laughs> percent off. <laughs> saving save additional 10 percent on current markdowns on your orders of 100 or more use code add 10 more to save total 20 percent you can also save 25 percent save an additional 15 percent on current markdowns of your order of 250 or more use code save 15 more to save a total of 25 percent and then 30 percent savings save additional 20 percent on markdowns of your order of 500 or more use code black BLK 20 more to save a total of 30%. Man, patrons are getting all the deals right now because y'all, I, you know, we don't make the rules. <laughs> we don't make the rules. <laughs> Uh, last one uh, that I know of, one of my new favorite sticker shops uh, from More Plans, she is going to have a new release and Black Friday sale, 30% off the entire shop, no codes needed. She will also have her January and February kits, icon scripts, and freebies available between 1125 and 1128. Shout out for it being during actual Black Friday. Y'all get it? Like, it's the fact that we're talking about these sales, and a lot of them are going to be over by the time people hear this. This is the reason. Yeah. And a lot of them, like, we didn't even know. Like, this time, like, last week when we recorded it, we didn't even know about a lot of these sales to even talk about them on right. the previous episode. Because, so that's the yeah, problem. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't told until, like, Tuesday or Wednesday mm -hmm. of, of last week so yeah it just wasn't enough notice no um you know we want to shout y'all out on the show mm -hmm. we, we want to buy stuff we do so, yeah we truly I think do Bella Billiful is doing a cyber monday she usually does cyber monday oh nice, nice yeah nice nice i can't tell you to sell because my phone isn't working but i'm pretty yeah. sure i seem to a email from them but yeah yeah i'm sure a lot of the shops that we uh you know that we shop frequently like cloth and paper planner cake plum paper mm -hmm. um orange umbrella one of my new favorite shops all you know mama gloria they're all gonna have black friday sales as well we just don't know about them they haven't announced them and i'm assuming they're gonna be over the actual black friday weekend slash thanksgiving week so you know, if we see any of those, we'll definitely repost them on our IG stories so that you all can get yeah. all that information. Um, but yeah, yeah, lots of great so, sales for sure. Um, yeah, I, Villa Beautiful hasn't released any details, but it is going to be uh Cyber Monday, which is the 28th of November. So y'all right. have some time, and I appreciate her giving a heads up on when it's going to be. Yeah, because it has been weeks. Yes. <laughs> but but yeah, I'm here with Danielle as well. I do love when the shop uh doesn't require a code. Yes. So, you know, that's so another easy. level of thing you don't have to worry about. Try to track it's down. Yep. Yeah. Colette said you gotta be a mathematician to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why. Yep. Like with simply gilded, like the yep. stickers are 50% off and everything else is 30, and it's like like so wait what am i, I paying for yeah like, so yeah. i appreciate simply gilded being like there's no code required yes. so now I, all i have to do is add it to cart and then i can see what i'm getting off One when i look at my cart thousand yeah. percent yes because y'all is there nothing worse than putting everything in your cart like going through the process checking out thinking that it was automatically applied and then finding out actually i missed the code i'm an idiot it wasn't automatically <laughs> applied and you just pay full price for some stuff that's actually on sale then you contact the customer service 
it's just a whole hot mess. So yeah, shout out to yeah. If it's already applied, that definitely just makes life a lot easier. Yeah, for I'm sure. sure it makes it easier for the shops too because they don't, don't have to worry so. about them uh, emails. Like I forgot the code. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Colette said that Coffee Paper did a teaser about the Black Friday weekend sales. No details um, of exact discounts. Yet. Do y'all remember? I think it was a uh, Black Friday of maybe like 2019 or 2020. You know, back when Coffee Paper when they were doing their um, their Ollie Clip collapse. <laughs> you know, you know, y'all know that whole crazy history. <laughs> but when I time. think one of their right, the one that, when they first started, it might have been maybe their first or second Ollie Clip collab, and they released them on Black Friday. And it was so exciting. You could only get one per order. Like it was just a vibe. It was a it was what a time to be alive because it was just fun. You know what I'm saying? I tried to order two. They was like, nah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they was on it too. They was on it. They was on it. <laughs> But yeah, guys, so let us know what y'all will be shopping either now or over Black Friday weekend. And we're, we are going to take a quick break to hear from our sponsors. All right, guys, so we are back. So we have talked about so many Black Friday deals. And obviously, there are a ton of shops that we love that are just... Um, you know, we don't know the details of their Black Friday sales yet, so we're assuming that they're going to come out on the actual week of, like, Thanksgiving and stuff. But I kind of want to talk through, like, where does everybody plan to shop? Patrons, chime in in the chat. Where do y'all plan to shop um, for Black Friday? Myra, you want to start us off? Um, I think I said it already. Only only shop I plan to is EC. Okay. Um. Maybe Villa Beautiful. I really dig their uh, Halloween release, so I'm hoping that some of those pins are still there once the sale goes on. And she has some like glow in the dark pins and stuff too. Mm-hmm. So um, I might do that, but I that's it. Really? For now? Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it for now. I think yeah. I'm pretty good on like my lineup, so I don't need any more planners. Yeah, I'm trying to use up like my single sheet stickers, so I'm not trying to buy like too many stickers. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I don't really have too many plans right now. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. That's probably wild. probably very healthy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for your it probably account. is. <laughs> Um, I know for sure I'm definitely going to be shopping with Plum Paper. They usually do like a 30% off sale. I really want to get a monthly planner for work and possibly a monthly planner for budgeting purposes. This year uh, for budgeting, I use like a um, cloth and paper A5 that I set up and it <gasps> worked. Cloth and paper. Mm-hmm. I yep. forgot. Yes, it worked Add very to my well. List. There we go. <laughs> it worked really well for me for budgeting and stuff, but I don't love how cloth and paper changed their um their calendars. So now their calendars have like a section on the bottom of each page for like notes and stuff like that. And it just made the calendar boxes like too small. And they were already kind of small for an A5. So now that they're even smaller, I just don't think it's gonna work for me and my budgeting purposes mm. anymore and I'm sad because I really did love this setup but so um yeah I think I'm gonna get a couple of plum paper planners um and also I'll just go ahead and mention now did y'all realize that plum paper was offering gold coils now they didn't plum even paper. announce it Christina we gotta talk because they be sneaking in stuff they like, be we- sneaking in stuff <laughs> not What's one that? announcement about this maybe i missed it because there's i don't know if they post in their stories a lot but i never see like ig stories from him, them or whatever but i was literally just like perusing on the plum paper website the other day setting up um a couple of monthlies like i just mentioned just so i could see and i'm, I'm so happy i already got them set up they're already saved um on my profile so when the sale starts all i need to do is put them in my cart and check out so excited but yeah i thought there was an option for a gold coil and i was like what so yeah that's exciting that's exciting i can't wait to see what it looks like i'm gonna wait for you to get it you're gonna be getting paid first Yes, yes, I am gonna get it. I will I am gonna get it. I will and I will send you pics. So yeah, plum paper for sure. Um definitely shopping more plans. Like I said, that's one of my new favorite shops for like sticker kits and stuff. Definitely shopping orange umbrella, definitely stop shopping Mama Gloria. All these shops have just 
the cutest oh, kids. Yes, yeah, Planner Kate. I have to shop Planner Kate. So I'm a yeah, I'm gonna be really stocking up on kits and stuff uh for next year. And I've already shopped KAD. Um so I might look and see what EC has, but I know as far as planners go, I'm pretty set except for those plum papers. So yeah, that's what I'm, I'm so doing. mad. I you should have let me go last because now I had two and now you <laughs> listing off stuff. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, them, them. Now I'm up to like five or six. I knew that was gonna happen. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine though. It's fine. Uh, Danny said planner Kate for selfish reasons. Obviously, like this is gonna be such a good time to like stock up on so much cute stuff that planner Kate has put out this year. And I love that on her website. If you go on the actual website, like on the computer, they're like very well organized. Like you would never know this from you know browsing on your phone, but if you get on planner Kate on an actual computer um they're organized by 2021 kits 2022 kits um all of that so yes yeah shop planner kate. definitely shop planner kate on a desktop for sure mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh rizzo says she is curious about archer and olive think a lot of people are going to be disappointed when it's not the same as last year oh uh, yeah i have no idea i don't think i've heard anything about archer and olive's black either. friday sale um, so here's, here's my thing, especially about Arjun Olive or companies that make, I mean, come on, like the quality of her notebooks, she's only going to discount those so much. I have zero expectation for Arjun Olive to do like a 50% discount or anything like that. I just don't even think it's feasible hell to even do 30% because those notebooks are just so amazingly so amazingly made and put together i just don't have any expectation of those to be deeply discounted so yeah they're so pretty mm -hmm. she has lots of new designs too and i'm very excited about our advent boxes so i cannot wait to open those did you up. get the new release though the notebooks mm -hmm. did we get one of the notebooks in the mm -hmm. advent box, it's not one of it those. It wasn't. It wasn't one of those. The one that oh, okay. comes with the advent box is different from the new release. Oh, the okay, one on the right. advent box has like candy or something on it. Oh, cute! But they have one with pajamas. I pajamas. saw that one. That color was so pretty. So pretty. That so cool. So I love pretty. it, but I, I don't have no use for it, so I couldn't. Mm -mm. But if the sale is good, yep. I don't yep. know. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, Danny said is anyone shopping Black Friday for other people uh, possibly for like Mason like toys and stuff or clothes um, I'm not a big Black Friday gift getter but if I, I I can see myself if I see like some really good deals for some of the things I was planning on getting her then I would absolutely just go ahead and get them on Black Friday so yeah and to be honest like right now at least for me I don't know if it's different for a little girl but Ashton's stuff is fairly cheap mm-hmm you There's know, like, I wouldn't, yeah. yep, it's not that, yeah, yeah. So, I think I'm gonna probably finish up his Christmas stuff throughout this week. Mm. I just need to come up with a game plan of what exactly I'm getting because we we got way too many toys, so I'm that's, trying not to do all that. That's the hard part for us as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But at least now, Mason is, is at a point where she does get excited a little bit about clothes, she loves just having anything new, so we will be able to get away with giving her some clothes, but obviously, like, we can't just get her exclusively clothes. But we gonna get cussed out on Christmas morning. Yeah. So <laughs> we would, we definitely would. I don't know. Have y'all yeah. got in like the like the Amazon toy books or a Walmart? Yes, books? and she's going through like circle and stuff. It's so cute. Same. It's giving me mad like nostalgia because when mm -hmm. I was a kid, I would go through that big ass JC Penny book with all them toys in it, and I would just. Mm -hmm. I would circle everything. Circle everything. I would circle this, everything. This child started circling <laughs> stuff for us. He said, "You could get this. <laughs> you could get this for Daddy." Like, what? I love it. <laughs> Do for you. I and love you only. it. But yeah, they circled the whole entire book. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, Rizzo said that last year Archer and Olive had like a forty percent off discount. That's kind of amazing. That's way more than I would expect. So. I found a reason for that pajama notebook for 40% off. Girl, y'all, <laughs> the amount of notebooks I have from Archer and it's Olive at this point it is, really is so crazy. Like, <laughs> I have purchased a lot. We have been 
you know, sent a lot. Shout out to Bunny. She is amazing mm-hmm. and she loves us and we love her. So she sends us stuff. I have so many Archer and all notebooks. Like, I truly need to get into bullet journaling so I can truly do something with these notebooks because it's wild. It's wild at this point. It's just the time. I feel yeah. like if our, my child was older and I can, like, you know, a little bit more self sufficient. I would be, I would mm-hmm. be a Bujo girl. I think mm-hmm. I would. I love sitting down and doing it, but mm-hmm. when you running around a, you know, yep. a child, I was going to say toddler, but I feel like they're older than that now. But, yep. um, and they go to bed at nine and then you are so exhausted that you go to bed at 9.15. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's no time for me Where's to sit down to. Yeah. Yep, yep exactly. Yeah. Hey, okay, so Julie is joining Julie us and coming in hot. <laughs> she said, uh, all Black Friday sales need to be 40% off. Anything less might stay in the cart. Period, Julie. That's all we've been saying. <laughs> Period. She don't miss a beat. This is why we're friends. This is why we're friends. <laughs> Uh, Jennifer has said that she has been loading the planner cake cart. Now she has a lot of last chance that we'll get the sale discount on top of that already discount. That's the thing with planner mm. cake. Whatever her sale is, you can stack it. Also, like Julie has a twenty percent off code. Go ahead and drop that in the chat, Julie. Uh, <laughs> and you can stop. You can stack it with the sale. So it is just like a win is a win all the time with planner cake. It's like how yeah. can you not shop it? It's so much cute stuff. And it can literally, I mean, it's already not super expensive, but when those sales hit and then you can stack that coupon. Woo. Uh, mm. Yeah, I love that. I also love the, the uh, feature that they have that you can kind of like load up like your wish list over there. Mm-hmm. So you can save because I've been loading it up. I'm thinking I might might stock up on those weekly overviews in the daily duo mm, yes yes that might yes. be the time to do that that is 1000 percent the time to do that because she has so many cute ones it's crazy mm-hmm. it is crazy danny said myra in bed at 9 15 like now danny you know we all know when myra no. is is ghost from the group chat <laughs> from about uh nine o'clock to it's 4 a.m the next day <laughs> And then she, her and Julie, her and Julie be ghost at a certain yeah. point of the night, and then they pop up bright that early time frame in the morning. It's so perfect. It's and so then y'all solid. know, y'all know when I'm ghost, I get ghost around like 12 a.m. and I don't pop back up until like 8 a.m. <laughs> and then That's Laura so... and Danny just be in the group chat all the time. They apparently just don't sleep. <laughs> they just don't sleep at all. So That's. <laughs> That is hilarious. <laughs> like, I'm definitely that person who, if I send you a text at, like, 9 14, mm-hmm. I'm highly possibly sleep by 9 She's immediately sleep. Yeah. She's immediately yeah. sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Yes, Julie and Myra, they are in the same time zone, and they are also on the same sleep schedule. I just Truly. don't understand why. Okay. Hot take. Okay. I don't get why people are not morning people. I just don't understand why not. Because it's like, I don't know. I just feel like this sense of rush at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Okay. And I can get things done. Everybody else is typically sleeping. So I mean, I guess I don't I don't understand it like for like the moms. Okay. Why are y'all not morning people? Uh I don't understand why I don't understand why y'all are morning people. <laughs> just always been a night owl so like even though I definitely go to sleep way earlier than what I used to like before I had like a full-time job and a child I still stay up pretty pretty late probably compared to you I always try to go to sleep at least before 12 but usually I don't go to sleep until like 11 11 30 typically I try to go to sleep earlier but usually it's not realistic until until like 11 11 30 so in the morning I'm trying to get every bit of sleep I can get. I literally stay in bed until I just absolutely have to get up. Like one morning I was texting y'all and I was like, I literally need to leave the house in 30 minutes and I'm in bed. (laughs) That's my life. I don't know. Once again, it's good chaos. (laughs) Good chaos. I like the drama. I like the, like ideally I would love to be able to wake up two and a half hours before I had to leave the house. But that is just not, that's not me. That's just not me. And I don't think it will ever be me. Like, I've never been that person. I've just never, ever, ever been that person. I can't. I so can't do, do you it. feel a sense of energy, like, 
towards like the 9, 10, 11 o'clock hour, like you be getting stuff done. That's when I relax the most. Yeah, that's when I relax because we try to get Mason in bed, you know, as early as possible. And that's when I can, you know, take my long bath, catch up on shows, like play in my planners, do all the things like that. Like that's that's really when I relax is at nighttime. That's when the house is quiet. You know, Dallas might be upstairs either hanging out with Mason or she's sleep. He'll be playing a game or something. So that is definitely my relaxation time. Hmm. Yeah. I do wish I had more hours at the end of the day to relax. Yeah. You wake up too early. You gotta go to yeah. sleep. <laughs> you gotta go to sleep when you was all messed up. <laughs> But yeah, I've just always loved the nighttime. Like me and me and my brother, we have always been like huge night owls. Like I'll just randomly take like I think it was one day, it was his birthday actually. And I was uh I woke up at maybe like 6 30 or something like that. And I just wanted to make sure I text him like first thing in the morning, uh happy birthday. So I text him, he texts me back, and I was like, What are you doing up? I was like, Did you wake up early? He had been up all night working because he's an yeah. entrepreneur yeah. so he will stay up all throughout the night so yeah so i i can't do that anymore but like when we were kids like in the summertime we would stay up literally all night until the sun came up and then we sleep during the day so that's so wild to me yeah. i'm with julie like mix it she tried to get in bed before 12 <laughs> y'all been, like y'all been sleeping three hours <laughs> yeah. by 12 o'clock <laughs> <laughs> Meg's like, woo, I got uh to bed early and she got to bed at like eleven. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, exactly. <laughs> early, that's early for me. But you know what? I, I understand you guys. The people I don't understand are people like Danny and Laura who survive off of like four or five hours of sleep every night. I truly don't understand that. I truly don't. I, I need at least seven hours of sleep. I need it. So, Danny, I, I, I if, think it, that... if anybody is team no sleep, let us know in the chat how y'all do that because that truly blows my mind. <laughs> yeah, that that is wild to me. I mm-hmm. yeah, I've never been team no sleep. Mm mm. Mm mm. The sleep will be gotten <laughs> one way. <laughs> Or the other. And I love you. So we got a lot. We got a lot of team night owls, but we got a lot of team early birds as well yeah. in the Patreon. So yeah, it's just a team no sleep that I'm like, what's going on? Now naps. I yeah, me and my are so different. Other. We're so yeah, different. We, we're I, so different. I love that. a good nap. I love a good now, I knew me and Myra was different when one day in our group chat, somebody asked, well, I think it was Laura who asked, like, what, how, how long constitutes a nap to y'all? And Myra said, like, 30 minutes. And I was like, uh, like two hours. <laughs> like, what is a 30 minute nap? <laughs> this sounds like blasphemy to me. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, don't wake Meg up after 30 minutes into her nap. Period. It's gonna be a problem. It's the fact that whenever me and Myra like record like in the morning time, like on the weekend, Myra has probably been up for like four or five hours, and I probably like literally just got out of bed. I have to. Yep. I had to take advantage of the quiet time in this house. It yes, usually, you do. Usually is during the day because that's Chuck why is I'm the so- night owl. So yeah, he's up on the game. Don't nobody want to hear all that yelling and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I'm kind of surprised that you aren't more of a nap person since you wake up so early. But I guess it would just throw you off too it much. Throw me off, if yeah. you napped and you wouldn't be able to get to sleep uh, early. So it totally makes sense. Christy said one to two hours for a nap. Yeah, Y'all napping for period. two Grey's Anatomy episodes. That's ridiculous. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> that sounds like a damn good time, Christy. I'm with you. <laughs> Danny said, uh, listen, y'all know when sleep comes for me, I am the easiest victim. Danny has literally fallen asleep in the middle of a conversation and we witnessed it. Okay. Sitting up. <laughs> so that is not, that is not uh, <laughs> hyperbole. Okay. He is dead ass serious. Like he will fall asleep in the middle of a conversation. Yeah. Oh <laughs> That's so funny. I am deceased. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Danny says so alarm hits, you shower, you look at yourself in the mirror, and you say, You can F and do this, and then you slay. Period, Danny. Exactly. That's how he uh works off with no sleep. Yep. Yep. Mm. Yep. 
Exactly. Danielle said, I can't be team no sleep. I want to fight the world. Y'all, I am so grumpy no sleep, when I don't have no enough food. sleep. I can't. No sleep, no food. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Heather says she can't fall asleep for a nap if it's just 30 minutes. She gets too stressed and it takes 15. That's how I am, too. I can't do a very short nap. Because especially if I have people something that to do, be counting the hours, uh, how much time you got to sleep? One thousand percent. Yeah, <laughs> that's where the anxiety come from. It is y'all sitting there like one, two. Yep. That yep. y'all got to stop that. Kalis <laughs> <laughs> said, "When do y'all have time for these long?" <laughs> That's I what don't I'm know. Saying. I don't know. I make time. Two grades and that'll be episodes. Look. How? I will plan a Saturday around when I can take a nap. Okay, like, okay, I had to wake up at 9 a.m. this day. I got to do X, Y, Z. So about 2 o'clock, I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to get up about 5, and then I'm going to finish my day. <laughs> you have to plan for the nap, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Oh, my God. I love our random tangent. We need a, um, a nap hour at Go Wild, apparently, because um, half of the people, they need naps. Y'all, team wild. So and, and, in there. and guess what the f I did on Saturday to go wild? I exited stage left of the ballroom <laughs> and I went and took myself a nap. <laughs> I had been, I had gone days at that point without taking a nap. Okay, I needed it. I truly needed it. So. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, we're so different. I can't. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh. See, Jamelia uh, says she's taking a nap as soon as we're done recording. Girl, me too. Oh my What you time did y'all have time? Up. <laughs> <laughs> that was our plan. We get up, we record, we nap. There we go. There we go. Y'all the best. We the best. <laughs> y'all the best. <laughs> oh my gosh. So a lot of people, we had our uh we had our giveaway with Arch and Olive this past week, uh, where we gave away a advent box, their advent box, and a lot of people commented what their holiday traditions were. So I just wanted to kind of ask you guys, like, if y'all have any really cool holiday traditions that you either have from childhood or that you're starting now. Um, I just wanted to see. Let's talk about some holiday traditions. Myra, do y'all have any holiday traditions either from your childhood or in like new traditions that y'all have started with Ashton? Um, I guess a new tradition for us, we go to the Festival of Lights and usually it's right after Thanksgiving, either that Friday or Saturday afterwards, yeah. depending on what we're doing. And we go through Festival of Lights um, and that's just like, it's at our zoo. Mm-hmm. Just walk around, lights everywhere. It's cute, whatever. Um, Growing up, a family tradition for me, like, we would all go to my grandma's house on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. Everybody, like, my uncle's family, my mom. Yeah, it was just those two. So my uncle and my mom, like, all of our families get together, bring all our gifts and stuff, and we'll spend the night there. Mm -hmm. And everybody opens up everything and have breakfast. Um, That was cute. I used to love doing that. But as we got older and started having kids, it just, we outgrew doing that at the house yeah so right yeah so we do our own thing at home and then come over afterwards but nice nice i love it okay pause danny said meg came back so refreshed and we sat through vegan sister stone (laughs) did it's the accuracy for me (laughs) is i mean first of all vegan sister stone and yes yeah, y'all were dead inside. We literally died. If anybody missed this, uh, the Saturday go out, they had Alicia Silverstone, and she was a very interesting, very, very interesting uh, speaker, whatever you want to call her. And by the time we got down to her, I was so exhausted. I wasn't feeling good. I had to exit. So I went and got me a salad, and I went and took a nap, and they died, apparently. She should have left, apparently, too. <laughs> Meg understood the assignment. We did, did. not because we were all just like, "What is yeah. happening?" But I think that was a whole. I needed y'all to ballroom. be there so that I could hear about it. Because yeah. if it wasn't for y'all, yeah, I wouldn't been. know what a disaster she kind of was yeah. <laughs> and how she didn't want to talk about coolest, even though she talks about it all the time on her TikTok. But you know, I digress. 
Um, weird flex, girl. Weird flex. <laughs> I feel like she just was flexing on us because, you know, like we were beneath her or whatever. But right, right, but exactly. You, to this day, y'all. To this day, still doing clueless stuff. See, yeah, literally, with other people from clueless, actually. So to uh, this day, yeah. Anyway, back to holiday traditions. <laughs> Um, so growing up, we would, uh, one of our traditions was always putting up the Christmas tree the weekend after, uh, Thanksgiving, which y'all all know, I did that for a while and I recently nixed that and started doing it into, no, like earlier into November, just because it's so fun, puts me into the Christmas spirit. Mason absolutely loves it and it's just fun. Mm-hmm. So now our 1000% our new holiday tradition is putting up the Christmas tree as quickly after Halloween as feasibly possible. And I have absolutely been loving it. Like it's been so nice to be able to see the tree on already and just really get us into the spirits. So I love that. Um, growing up, we would always, you know, obviously wake up, open gifts at home. And then later on in the day, go over to my mom's family's house um, to have Christmas dinner and everything with them and open gifts with them and stuff. And that was really fun. Um, I think now that we don't live there, we're probably not ever going to be traveling for Christmas. So we're more so going to be staying here in the Nashville area doing Christmas at home. And I think this year we might even be having some of Dallas's family come over to our house um, for mm. Christmas or whatever. Now, I'm not doing all the cooking. I'm just throwing that out there. Me and my mother-in-law were just talking about this yesterday. And she was like, so what you going to cook? I said, girl, what we going to cook? Because just because it's at my house does not mean I have to cook everything. <laughs> That's not what that means. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So do y'all do a Christmas dinner? We we had food, but we didn't do like a big Christmas dinner. Do y'all do that? Yeah, we kind of we okay. we've always pretty much done like a Christmas dinner. Like in the past, when it was us going over to my mom's family house, it was literally pretty much the same food as like Thanksgiving dinner. It was like Thanksgiving 2.0. Yeah. But um kind of in the later years, we kind of started branching off and doing other things because it's like we just had all that Thanksgiving food a month ago. So we want to change it up. So now yeah. we're definitely not doing um Thanksgiving food. We're gonna do something else. But yeah, it's like a nice dinner and um Christmas Eve is always so fun. We've always opened up at least one gift on Christmas Eve. Um just to I don't know, just to do this. I guess that counts as a Christmas tradition too. So yeah, we do we did a lights thing last year. Definitely want to do that again where it's like a little drive-through um lights thing. Just anything that we can do to help us be even more in the Christmas spirit, we're absolutely going to do it. Cause it's just so fun. I love it. I For love sure. it. Yeah. I'm like not thinking, I don't know if we ever really did dinner. I know there was food there, and yeah. usually it's a ham, which I do not like ham. Ham girl is weird to me. I so over ham it does look weird (laughs) like i like a ham sandwich and that's about it yeah i don't need just pieces of ham yeah Mm -mm. and maybe that's why i was just like "Mm, never really care for the dinner because i I only would eat sides anyway but Mm -hmm. but we're big on breakfast so like breakfast was a like it was all out kind of thing but yeah yeah and you know what? The past couple of years, uh, we have started doing like a not a big breakfast, but just like making like some special dishes every year and making them on Christmas morning to have for breakfast and stuff. So Dallas likes doing that. So he gets to cook more of that stuff. And then I get to cook more of the dinner stuff because girl, I got, I'm not about to be cooking twice today. Absolutely not. <laughs> Mm-mm. absolutely not it starts to become a chore like the older you get and now you are participating in like the organizing and cooking and stuff and it, it becomes like a huge mm-hmm. chore yes it's like this was not like this when we were kids and no. all we had to do was open the stuff just show up <laughs> yeah, literally just it. show up and exist exactly <laughs> now that you're the adults in the situation and you have to do like literally last year i think dallas stayed up all night setting up mason's dollhouse um and some other toys and then I don't even know if he went to sleep but he like got right into cooking breakfast <laughs> and I was like I woke up I was like have you been up all night and he was like yeah and I'm like yay yeah we had that with a little tool shed thing like mm-hmm. why are the toys so hard to put can it just come pre-assembled can we yeah, just please. get it pre-assembled please uh Danny don't want to shade he said y'all not gonna shade <laughs> I'm, Danny, this I think about like the Flintstones every time yeah. I see a ham. Yeah, 
And it's like, <laughs> why is the bone there? It's just weird. It's so weird to me. <laughs> I don't like it. That's so funny. Okay, Colette had a Alicia Silverstone or a vegan Silverstone question. Did she even talk about planning? No. Okay. No, I, I well, she could have, but it wasn't as look <laughs> shocking as the rest of the stuff she was saying. Alicia Silverstone is a very interesting person, and I don't even fault Wild for this at all because I truly mm -hmm. feel like you don't know what you're going to get with her. And I feel like what you get yeah. with her literally could change day to day. So, yeah. For sure. Yeah, and if we, if Wild was going off of like her social medias and stuff, like she does a lot of Clueless stuff. And clearly, we love Clueless. <clears throat> yes. Well, you know, I haven't seen it, but y'all y'all love Clueless. The girls love cool, Clueless. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. you know, it was a good choice. I do not fault Teen Wild for that at all. Mm -hmm. It was just like did not know what we were going to get with that one. No, 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 no. Uh, let's see. Uh, Laura... Danny about to lose his uh, mod privileges talking about ham over turkey. All right, Danny. Do you need to... <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to take a break? We can put him in time out. <laughs> uh, Laura said that they are establishing traditions, but she wants mm -hmm. to do Christmas vacationing instead of gifts. I think that would that be awesome. That is a awesome. good idea. That is a My... great idea. My mom's friend, their family does a huge cruise, Christmas Ooh. cruise. So they don't do gifts or anything. Like they just go out on the cruise. And I'm like, that sounds very stress free. It really does. You just show <laughs> up in vacation. Yeah. Like, what's not to love? Uh, Raina says she can't remember any childhood traditions, but she's looking forward to making some with her own family. I love it. Yeah. It's never too late. That's a good, yeah, that's a good mm -hmm. thing about it. You can create your own. Yes. Uh, Laura also said they did start tradition Chinese food on Christmas. If you know, you know. Is that from a Christmas story? Didn't they end up at a Chinese restaurant on a Christmas story? Yeah. I've been seeing that a lot. A lot of folks are like going to the like Chinese restaurants and stuff because they be open. I Which I mean, yeah. it's a change of space. It's like so, you said, yeah. like we don't want huge Thanksgiving dinner one no. month later. No, yeah. no. Uh, Kirsten said her dad is prepping for our new post-COVID Thanksgiving Christmas tradition of grilling all the meats. Ooh, I love grilling. Ooh. Yes. Julie said they do Chinese food as well. Uh, Danny said our tradition is anti-Christmas dinner. We did tamales one time, fancy sandwiches, a soup buffet. Oh, that's cute. I like how y'all change it up. Yeah. Make sure you get your ham, Danny. Because <laughs> you like it so much. <laughs> I will consider him a Christmas dinner, so you can't have him. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Colette said Christmas uh, hubs and I travel usually someplace warm. Yes. I love that for you. I all. love that. Yeah. That's so cool. It is really cool. Um, Rizzo said next week is Illuma Brew, which is a big event for my partner and I. It's the Arboretum's light display, but with local beer cider. Um, we get what is it? I don't know what this Bond is. Me right before we go to. Hmm, I don't know that. Give I, us, give us more. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <We're ignorant. laughs> is is it a drink? Right. It sounds fruity. Yes. And tropical. So I'm curious. Right. Uh, Chrissy said her family tradition is a family Christmas Eve party, uh, immediate family s'mores, board games, karaoke, white elephant. Oh, that sounds so fun. Y'all know. That. One I of might the, that Christmas. Yes. One <laughs> of the very few reasons that I have ever been jealous of the Kardashians <laughs> is they always do like this huge like Christmas Eve party and it looks so mm -hmm. freaking fun. I would love to have something like that to go to every year. That's amazing. Sure. Yeah. And it's it this year with Christmas Eve being on a Saturday, like y'all get to party out mm -hmm. and y'all can go back home and chill and do whatever you want on Christmas Day. And most people have Monday off too. Mm -hmm. So that's perfect. It is perfect. Yeah. yeah. It is perfect. Uh, Marlene said, growing up uh, and now Christmas Eve is the day when I was young. We would stay up until midnight and then open gifts. Then we play bingo for money, open stockings and gifts at midnight. That's amazing. Ooh. And if me and my brother would have tried to open gifts at midnight, my mom probably would have chopped our heads off. <laughs> like, she was not going we got to in that. trouble. Yeah. Like, one gift, you have to go to sleep and then you have to wake up. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you wake up at 6 a.m., whatever, but you have to go to sleep. 
before we get into everything. So the one day y'all was early birds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, literally. <laughs> That's the one day we would go to sleep early. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Danny said his perfect plate is ham, double stuffing. Uh, I'm assuming he meant mashed potatoes and a cup of gravy, mac and cheese, uh, GB green casserole, green bean casserole, and like three rolls. <laughs> okay, <of> all, I <laughs> I see this on TikTok. They were like, y'all need to just try to make green bean casserole, and it, you know. It was one I don't of those. mind green bean casserole. My I've aunt, never had it before. My I aunt never had a good one. Ham and double stuffing because ham and and the stuffing needs to be dressing. But we ain't got to get into that whole debate <laughs> of stuffing versus dressing. <laughs> I don't eat neither one of them, so My it's rug. wet bread. Yeah, well, we had my this discussion rug. last year. We so had this discussion last start. year, and also, did you see what I put on my stories the other day? I should have just tagged you in it. That oh, yeah. Dressing not nasty, your family just can't cook. <laughs> no, everybody loves it but me, so it must be good. <laughs> okay, so it's not your family. It's just me, yeah. Oh, my oh God. okay, so I it's a dressing. Vietnamese sandwich. Okay, good to know. Send a picture in a group. I want to yes. see what this looks like. Yes. Everybody's saying it's fire. Okay, I know. Yes. I, I want to see what it looks like. Yeah. Uh we do match pajamas and one gift on Christmas Eve. Yes, I'm glad we started doing match pajamas yes. too. I think last year. And I do mm-hmm. really like that. I do really like that. I've already got two sets. Period. Because I am extra. And I think we're gonna take two sets of different pictures. That's how that's how it's supposed to be. Yep. <laughs> okay, Colette. I'm with you. Colette said her last day of work is December 22nd, and um she works again on January 3rd. That is exactly how mine ended up working out too. Um, my office isn't like technically closed all that time, but I only had to use like four vacation days because of when we are closed in order to be off for literally that a whole amount of time and Girl, I'm excited. It's perfect. I'm so yeah. excited. The way, because I love it when Christmas lands on a particular day, and then you just have a few days in between, and you get some floating holidays and throwing all that mm-hmm. type of stuff. It just worked out. I'm jealous. Yeah. Yep. I'll be at work. Girl, you're going to be at home, though, right? Some of those days. Yeah. Maybe it'll snow, and you can be like, look. You know what? I'm not coming in. I'm going to be at home. What are you going to yep. do? Exactly. Exactly. What that's, what I, do? that's what I told Dallas because he's not off. I was like, just stay home. <laughs> All right, y'all now. lucky I showed up. Now, if Myra and Dallas work. are looking for new jobs in the new year, we clearly we are. Come back yes. to this, uh, conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because it's ridiculous, and I hate jobs that be like, oh, it's by your tenure, so I never will get a chance exactly. to have that time off. It's so, so unfair. Mm-hmm. It's so unfair. Yeah, exactly. Um, yes, Old Navy Black Friday deals for pajamas, matching family PJs. Yes, and Target actually had some Target, yeah. that were like, were they from like a black uh designer or they were, okay. yeah, they had two designs that were like, like Black Joy all year, or something around, and then the other one had like multicultural Santa Claus on it, so it was really cute. We got mm-hmm. the Santa Claus one, Sandy yep. Claus, yep, Sandy Claus. There we go, there we go, <laughs> yep. And I mean, I would love to know, like, is there anything that you guys are especially thankful and grateful for? Um, I just realized that this is our last episode until December. So if y'all have anything that y'all are especially thankful or grateful for, put it in the chat. Uh, I am definitely grateful and thankful for my amazing friend, Myra, my podcast co-host. It has been a absolutely insane two years of doing this podcast, but there's nobody I'd rather do this podcast with. And I'm so grateful for our Patreon community because you guys just are so supportive and so great to us. And we just, and y'all don't begin on our nerves. That's the best part. God. So I love you guys. <laughs> y'all are the best. <laughs> oh my God, I was not prepared for that. I know. I got just, on the show though. I just thought and about I'm, it. I'm like, because oh, we just got done. <laughs> I just got myself together after Wakanda mm-hmm. forever. And now I'm like, oh, but yeah. happy again. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. But I, yeah, I second that. Definitely very grateful for, um, for this community. Yes. Um, grateful for you, Meg, and all of our 
material girls peeps um yeah it's just been a a Mm -hmm. enjoyable ride to Mm -hmm. be honest like um so many great things that's come from this podcast yes um really finding our people and um it's just been amazing it it really really has so definitely grateful for all of that i agree i totally totally agree um julie said grateful for the patreon group truly the best i mean y'all julie just don't tell no lies is she saying it it's because it's true same thing with danny he said when it comes up he said best patreon in the planner community (laughs) i totally totally agree Christy says, I am thankful for you both. I love y'all. You all made this year go by fast. I had something enjoyable to look forward to every month. Love y'all. Love you too, girl. Thank you so much. That's so nice. It's so nice. Y'all are so nice. Y'all could have said other stuff too. We wouldn't have been mad. Y'all don't have to say us. I promise y'all don't. Y'all so sweet. I promise y'all don't. I love y'all so much. Raina and Marlene said this is their only Patreons. Oh, Oh my gosh. Shout out to y'all. Literally. Yeah. You know what? We really somehow we really have been able to cultivate cultivate a community of like truly the best people in this community. Like I I I'm saying that with like 100 percent confidence. Like I feel like y'all are truly like we all are like, you know, we have difference of opinions and things like mm-hmm. that sometimes, but at the end of the day, I just feel like we all are good people with good intentions. And that's why this group is like drama free, non-toxic, itself for me just using the word cultivate. Thanks a lot, Danny. <laughs> um, <laughs> It is just a good time. And I just love that, you know, even when we're not like in the group interacting a ton, you guys are always in there talking, having conversations, letting people know about sales and all these different things. And it's just always, 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 always just a good time with you guys. And every time we have a live or, you know, whatever, it's just always, it's always fun. Yeah. These are some of my people. favorite episodes to yep. record because like, like we just had a whole like sideways comment or topic about naps and stuff like yeah. it's just it's always a good time it's and good I, time. I second all of that we just yeah. we just have the best people in the community yep we do seriously we do yeah Colette said, besides my family, health, and stable employment, I'm so grateful for this group. Truly enjoy engaging with Megan Myra and the Patreon peeps. Colette, we are so happy to have you and everybody mm-hmm. a part of this group and how much you guys support us. Like, it truly means the world to us. And y'all, really y'all make a difference in our lives. I really hope y'all know that. Like, this is, you know, this is more than what we ever expected from starting this podcast mm-hmm. starting this patreon y'all truly make a difference in our lives and literally everything we do for the podcast y'all got y'all are like top of mind like what does the patreon crew want what does the patreon crew want to see like and even like even people who aren't part of patreon our listeners like we always have our listeners mm-hmm. top of mind and trying to be as you know we don't know everything but trying to always be as thoughtful and considerate to as many people as possible. Um, you know, sharing how we feel, sharing our opinions, definitely never wanted to like offend anybody or hurt anybody or anything. And I just appreciate that you guys, y'all see us. Y'all know that we aren't perfect. Y'all know that we make mistakes. It's like everybody makes mistakes, but you know, y'all hold us accountable without holding us to like a higher standard than other people. And I feel like some people in the past have just held, they just, I think they have a bad habit of holding like public figures to like a higher standard. And that's not truly fair all the time, you know, because at the end of the day, everybody's just human and nobody's perfect. So, but we love y'all. Yeah. 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 I think we, we got to find another word than, uh, the, the c word i think we just <laughs> <laughs> and you know we've had our hiccups throughout the years of doing this but mm-hmm. i think um you know we stated from the beginning of you know what this platform is what this patreon is mm-hmm. and i think it just found the right people it just really does yeah. like even the new people coming in like i as far as i know i feel like everybody just like falls in place there's never like people feeling like they don't fit in when right. they come in here and all that stuff but i just feel like every everybody who chats in the facebook group who comes to the lives like it just blends right in and it's just 
it's yep. perfect. It's I agree. Perfect. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Jamelia said, I just found y'all and my depression leveled up. Thank you so much for being real and planners. Oh my gosh. Oh, is this your first love? I think it is. I thought she was new. Hey, girl. Shout out to you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We have fun, as you so can see. We're we having a good time. Yes. <laughs> so happy to have you. Uh, Laura said, no, really, the community y'all have created here is one of the best, and I cannot wait to see everyone that will be attending. Go out. Laura, y'all okay. We can't wait. There's yep. definitely, I mean, obviously, <laughs> we love everybody. We love the newbies, but there are a handful of people who have truly been with us since day one, like the OG patrons, and Laura is one of the OGs, like, mm -hmm. literally been rocking with us for two and a half years, like, literally, li like, and it's like, that's the, that, I think that's one of my favorite things about our Patreon community, like, there are so many of y'all who we are, like, y'all are genuinely our friends, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like people, like even if you know if the Patreon ended tomorrow, there are so many people who I would still have in my life, once in my life, and I think that's truly one of the best things to come out of the Patreon. It has truly like brought us so much closer to so many people and really helped us like cultivate friendships and relationships outside of this. And I am, it, it's it's just nice to have this because I feel like as big as the planner community is, like it's very easy to feel alone. And I hope that mm -hmm. being a part of our Patreon community, our listener community, whatever. I hope it makes everybody who hears this feel a little bit less alone. Know that you're not. Know that that's the whole point of being in this community is to find people and to connect with people and to just have these relationships. Like without this, like all the planning, all that would just mean nothing without the friendships and relationships. So, a thousand percent agree. Yeah. Raina, she is grateful for her new job and her nice ass raise. Period. And she said yes. it started the Monday after Thanksgiving. No more on call every night and every weekend. Oh yes, uh, Raina. Congratulations. Level up. The on call up. being away is takes yep. the cake, I'm sure. Take the cake. <laughs> takes the cake. So takes congrats. The cake. Uh, Julie, we love you guys. Julie, oh my gosh, we love you. Too. Now, hold up, I'm gonna I'm have a fangirl moment for just a second for Julie because oh. when Julie joined our Patreon, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, we made it. <laughs> like, no, we, we made it. We made it. <laughs> like, this was before Wild and stuff. And once we got to before we were super yeah. close to Julie, <laughs> like when, you know, we would just be randomly in each other's DMs every now and then connecting and stuff. And when Julie joined our Patreon, I was like, okay, we we truly doing something right. We're truly doing something right. And that's li yeah. literally is how I feel, honestly, when every single person finds us and joins us. I'm just like, yeah, we're, we're doing something right. We're on the right path. Like, we're not perfect, mm -hmm. but we're on the right path. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I love, uh, I, yeah, love I, yeah, I do too. It, it, amazing. Yep. yep. Danny, Danny said, we're done. We can quit now. Period, Danny. And hold up. Let me just say, having Danny as a bestie, I don't even know what to say. We're going to have a very cry. soppy end to this episode. I'm about to cry. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> like, if y'all don't know, I we are obsessed with Danny. Which so many came from the Patreon, to be it honest. came from yeah. the Patreon, because Danny discovered our Patreon very early, too. Mm -hmm. And we just started, like, connecting and talking. And, and then it go, wow, it was just an absolute, it was just an absolute wrap. Like, if y'all don't follow Danny, like, he is literally just one of the, Danny is one, truly one of the best people I've ever met. Oh. About to cry, I just love him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we did not plan on doing all this. We pr no, I promise we it's... did not. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yes, Julie said it perfectly. Danny is all that is good in the world. That's true. Yep, I second that. Yep, I'm turning off my camera. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it's me. <laughs> But it's facts. It's, oh it's definitely facts. It's so it, facts. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, a lot of these like relationships that we have, um, it just would not be possible without this podcast. So like, yes, at the end of the day, just very, very grateful for so this grateful. podcast and bringing folks together, whether you're, you know, you listen faithfully every week or you're in the Patreon, whatever, like I, yep. this 
this podcast is just it's the best planner podcast um in this community period. and that's on period period and like julie said it's family is it's it's truly yeah. it's truly truly a family and i hope that each and every one of you guys who part of our patreon and listening i hope y'all know that y'all have like truly changed our lives and given us so much like more than we could ever give y'all back and we're just so beyond grateful i know yeah i can't wait to our um annual re- retreat that we do at go wild I'm excited as well. <laughs> it's basically a retreat I need I need some hugs. I need lots and lots of hugs. Yes. Uh Laura said, I'm rocking with y'all until the wheels fall off online offline. Period. Period. Yeah. Yep. We ride at dawn. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We gotta stop. This is so much. Jamelia oh, said, yes. "Meg looks like men will come to forever." Time, y'all. I've been an emotional wreck the past twenty four hours. I truly think it's because of this, it, it truly is. We probably should have picked another day to record this because I'm literally like oh, so emotional. <laughs> oh my gosh! Danny says, "Stop it! I love y'all so much. It's the open arms, love, and acceptance, and endless hype for me." Period. Period. endless hype yeah endless i mean hype. even that like i feel like like just in like the facebook group i feel like we'd be hyping each other up in there all Pretty the much. time in the, the, all exactly. the time and that's how yeah. it needs to happen yep exactly oh we're so ridiculous all right so let's talk about our black friday patreon sale because we are having a <laughs> patreon sale <laughs> yes <laughs> which i'm super excited about i hope it becomes more of a tradition for us moving mm-hmm. forward and um maybe this will be this is gonna be our only sale of the year as we talked about the other shots that was still here. This yeah. probably would be the only one because it, it takes a lot of you know behind the scenes stuff. But yes. I'm super super excited about it. So y'all hear all that soppy stuff and y'all like we need to get on this. Now is y'all time. If y'all need people to cry with, we're clearly we're clearly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will do it with you. <laughs> but yes, y'all, I and mean, we talked about it last episode, but uh, we will be having the Black Friday sale will last between uh, Wednesday before Thanksgiving, whatever date that is, and the Monday after whatever date that is. Yes. And our um, $15. That's the 23rd year. to the 28th. I just yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. But yeah, um, our $15 tier will be $10 uh, for that whole four or five days. And um, you'll be able to join in live. So you'll mm-hmm. be uh, able to cry with us when we do uh, grateful things. Whenever I feel like Hufflepuffing, y'all will be. Because <laughs> Myra is such a slither. And she like, yeah, I'm with y'all. But y'all not going to get no tears from me. <laughs> we know you feel it though, Myra. Even I feel though we it. Don't see I'm it, teared out we know, from Wakanda. We know you feel it. <laughs> But I definitely feel it. But yeah, you'll get to join us here. The Facebook group. Yes. Um, shots that we do every other month. Um, you know, I think that's just a perfect like base tier. Yes. Like you kind of get like, you know, the full experience there, bonus episodes, all that stuff. So all that will be on sale. If you are on that tier and you do have um like you're at $15 right now, you want to change it up, you can jump over to that. We don't have a problem yeah. with that. You can um, the same perks, you just pay same $5 perks. For this yeah, if you want to do that. Yeah, yeah, and you can even do it even cheaper if you want to do it annual. We still have the option of having that 10% off mm-hmm. if you do it annually. So, if you want to just rack up for the whole year because you know you in it to win it, yep, <laughs> you're here for a year. Um, you can do that. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. Excited to see the new faces. Just a caveat, we'll have it in the Facebook group when you join. Um, our people going to be off. Our mods, we going to be off. Yeah. So it may take until like that Monday, Tuesday when we start. Might just let everybody in at once. Yeah. 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 So, but you'll still have access to everything on Patreon. So if you want to like listen to mm-hmm. bonus episodes and all that stuff, um, you can. But yeah. it just may be a bit of delay with the Facebook group. But yep. yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm excited, I'm, really excited too. Yeah. I'm excited too. Uh, Julie asked, "What was I drinking?" Julie, I'm drinking a iced chestnut praline latte with vanilla cold foam. It is delish, very delish. Okay, I'm going afterwards. Period. I've never had Period. that one. Y'all keep saying yeah. it's so good. It is good. I love it. I love it. It's truly. I mean, I'm for some reason. Sweet? 
Yeah, it's sweet. You don't need okay. to add anything. I just added the cold foam just because I love cold foam, but even mm -hmm. without it, it's still um, it's perfect. If you get it hot, just add whipped cream. I think that adds something to it, but you don't need e any extra pumps or nothing. For some reason, my polo drink still costs $7 for a grande, um, which, you know, Starbucks is going to always get over. <laughs> they going to find Maybe a way. Get over. <laughs> They really be getting over. But oh it's my God, weird that. because it costs more than my Irish cream cold brew that I add more to it. Like I add a splash of heavy cream and I add like two extra pump pumps of syrup to my Irish cream cold brew. And that is $5 for the same size. So for some reason, it costs $2 more when I'm only adding one thing. But I digress. I, digress. Yeah, I really they, like it. I think they went up on that cold foam. I think so. I think that's what it is. Because with yeah. the Irish cream cold brew, I'm not having to add the cold foam. Yeah. So maybe that's what it is. But y'all know, I'm an iced drink girl. I did like it hot, but I just always prefer iced drinks. And it does taste really good iced as well. So highly recommend. Yeah. Uh, Starbucks mm -hmm. orders. Y'all, yeah. Starbucks, where you at? When you gonna sponsor? <laughs> when you gonna pay some bills? I mean, I, <laughs> I'm gonna continue to support them until they notice me. Period. That's, I'm That's all you can do. <laughs> That's all you can do. But yeah, guys, this has been such a fun episode. Um, mm -hmm. So many good things are happening. Um, we hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving or however you celebrate. If you celebrate, even if this is just a day off of work for you, at least eat some good food. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, if you're on the Patreon, if you're joining the Patreon right now, like Myra said, it's a great time. You can listen to lots of bonus content, um, watch our past Facebook lives if you're in the Facebook group group um a lot of cool things that you can check out oh, the facebook lives yes you do get access to that legendary hop in on the sale it is the best yep. it is the it's absolute the best, best. <laughs> yep but yeah guys um we love y'all so much we hope you have a happy holiday and we will be back for the newest episode on december the first yay i'm excited full christmas swing period sorry thanksgiving but see y'all <laughs> in december <laughs> bye guys <laughs>